Greetings viewers, this is Monotone Maverick coming at you with another video. Today we will be reviewing the high-end master model Lager Zero Jaeger Marking Plus version from Kurabukia. I will show the unboxing of this kit along with all the wonders and pieces that goes with it. In today's video we will be reviewing the entire kit. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. And here we have the high-end master model Lager Zero Jaeger. CAS complete, if you will. Or if you really think about it, the Liger Zero Hunter, uh, Jaeger translated uh, from the German term, which tr translated to English is Hunter. And I will admit uh, that uh, this kit actually looks pretty good. Uh, the blue definitely matches well. I do like the uh, comparison or really contrast of the navy blue style along with some of the lighter blue or sky blue and certain, uh, certain parts of their armor. I kind of wish they add a little bit more light blue, uh, just definitely, especially in the uh, lower armor pieces, in the uh, lower legs. I kind of wish there was more blue for those, particularly. Uh, of course, though, this I can definitely use uh, other paint if I choose to. I'm not too keen on just taping certain certain parts and just painting over it. Then also it adds a, a layer to that part. So of course, connecting it to piece by piece can be a little bit, a little bit difficult. Uh, I've had a, some bad experience with that, which is why I don't tend to do it again, uh, unless I'm really careful with it. But enough about that, uh, back to the kit. But yes, everything just looks really well. Uh, definitely show accurate for those of you who've seen Zoe's New Century. So I definitely do like that aspect of it. And the boosters on the back, I kind of feel like at first it was a little bit big, but then again, that's the main part about this kit is that it's for high speed battle or uh, close combat for that matter. So it makes sense to that point. But all in all, I say it looks pretty darn good. Since I already showed you all the articulation for the Liga Zero in the Liga Zero review, I'll be sure to uh, post a link to that on the bottom or make sure to add that at the end of this video. But I'm going to show you the other parts of this kit that also also articulated. So in this case, right here on both the front and back legs, you have this little fin here that can go up and down. Um, I actually don't know the purpose of these personally, but uh, if you want to take it from a uh, speed uh, point of view, you can use this to help with airflow going to those high-end speeds, so, so to speak. Uh, similar to how uh, some planes actually have an extra fin for that type of um, maneuverability. Or even some cars have this as well. But aside from those, uh, each one the shoulder shoulder pads has these as well. Go back and forth. Like so. I want another piece that I just I noticed while being a, building this, and I didn't really think it, it was needed, but uh, these pieces actually extend slightly. But I also feel like that's just because it's kind of loose. I kind of I don't really see the purpose of that, but uh, yes, that is one thing you can do. You can just extend these uh, pieces. Just uh, back a little bit. And on the head, uh, just like uh, on a basic uh, zero armor, these actually do come out like so. Oh. Somehow that piece got taken off. But... So these can extend out. Uh, these pieces here can actually rotate, move slightly. Uh, these piece, this piece on the bottom, can move just slightly. If I can just, there we go. And just like on the Lego Zero, the mouth can open, cockpit can open, standard um, pilot, if you will. Oop. 
And of course, uh, one of the uh, main parts of articulation is the main boosters on the back. And uh, this, these pieces, I will say, I kind of argue a little bit. Uh, so, I'm uh, going to uh, show you this piece right here. This piece is actually a different piece altogether. And this piece right here connects the uh, ion boosters. But uh, these pieces actually are connected from this back piece that I showed you and this connecting piece here. So it can move slightly like that. But I just feel like that was kind of a waste. I feel like the articulation, articulation is a little bit limited because of that. I, there's no point for this to, uh, be, to be connected with this piece here. And I will say when I, when I was first posing this to test it out, uh, these pieces did not hold too well to this connecting piece here. So I just add some super glue to just keep that on. That way it doesn't uh, move around so easily. But with that, you can extend these uh, fins out like so. And if you just open this up, you also open the ion boosters up as well. I do want to add that uh, whenever you do put this together, be careful with these because I had an issue of connecting them and whenever I tested them out and opened them, it did not open quite well. So just be watchful of that. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, these pieces also fold down, just like the stabilizers on a Liga Zero. Like so. And aside from that, these, these could also have this same uh, articulation as a Liga Zero as I stated before. But that's, uh, that's about it for the Jaeger armor. And of course, with a proper action base, you can definitely give uh, this kit some nice aerial moves. But definitely the possibilities are endless with this one. That much I can say. I definitely do like uh, this part of it. Uh, um, just having those extra fins that stick out definitely makes this kit uh, stand in, in terms of it just has a really nice, I guess, pouncing or just aerial move entirely. Hence why the Jaeger is called the Hunter. Definitely just prowling along and just waiting to find his next uh, prey. So definitely, with action base, you can definitely showcase uh, that form of um, prowling, so to speak, for the Liga Zero Jaeger. And you can actually bring, with that, you can definitely test the water, so to speak, and give it some proper poses such as this. With the Elago Zero Yeager complete, it can go up against its other high-speed enemy, the Lightning Sykes. Of course, a recreate from Zoe's New Century, Big Cloud versus Jack Sisko. And actually, since I have these two together, it really gives a good idea of just how big or with the armor the Liga Zero is compared to the Lightning Sykes. Now I know I did a comparison back during the Liga Zero review video. So the Liga Zero itself with the basic armor is uh, is bigger as is uh, compared to the Lightning Sykes. But in this case, to get the good view, I definitely with the boosters, the Liga Zero is definitely taller. And if we do a side by side, the Liga Zero is definitely uh, wider and bulkier. And not, I'm not going to include the tail, but by proportions, I would say uh, them to at least the same length. Uh, of course, with the tail, Liga Zero does be the Lightning Sykes, but for body-wise, I would say lengthwise, they're exactly the same. But yes, two proper enemies, but there's maybe another enemy of the Liga Zero, another arch rival, which you may see later. But till then, we have this little uh, rivalry in front of us. 
And one more comparison, of course, is how the basic zero armor is compared to the Jaeger armor. And of course, with the uh, the way how I position them a little bit, I, uh, Jaeger is a little bit lower. But uh, aside from that, they have a big difference, as, uh, as you can clearly tell. But we would uh, put these two side by side, like so. Yep, the Jaeger definitely has a, the width on this one. And I'm actually kind of surprised just how much bulkier the Jaeger is. I mean, I knew with all these extra armor, the CAS armors, uh, there definitely is a big difference in terms of size. I so I did expect that, but I wasn't expecting like this wide for the Jaeger armor specifically. Uh, Panzer, uh, well, we shall see. And Schneider only because of the blades, but... Um, yeah, definitely uh, much wider than I thought it would be. And then, if in case you haven't noticed, you can see that uh, the uh, the, um, the claws or the the feet or uh, fingers, so to speak, uh, for the, both uh, the Jaeger and the Lago Zero, these are a little bit darker, along with the teeth, because I actually painted them. I painted the, the, the nails and the teeth uh, with a uh, titanium gold, I think that's the best color actually for all of these. And I wasn't even thinking about it when I got this one some years ago. But I may, it's now that I have the paint, I may just take uh, these apart and just uh, paint over them. But that's the only thing I did in terms of customization on this one. I just painted the teeth, I did some paint aligning. Uh, so uh, definitely do a few things here and there. I try to do some paint aligning on the, uh, the boosters and some of the armor pieces. But I just couldn't find a good color. Uh, black looked too dark. I uh, definitely did stand out, but I was hoping to for something else. I used a dark gray. I thought it looked a little bit better, but uh, it didn't look, turn out the way how I wanted. So it's really tricky for this one. And I did not want to use a the dark uh, navy blue uh, gunpla pen I have, or marker really, because uh, that one uh, com basically just combusted. Uh, in case uh, you don't want to talk about it, you can take a look at my Terrace Bomber review where I did note about that. But enough about that. Um, here we have the Zero and the Jaeger all together. Just a few more to go. And now for my the good and the bad and everything else in between for this kit. The good, the colors do match pretty well. Uh, I would say everything is it's pretty proportional for the most part. I did this earlier that I feel like the thrusts are a little bit too, little bit, not even say too big, but just bigger than they need to be. But at that same time, it makes sense. So I'm not too, uh, I'm not going to put too much into that. So um, I would say proportion-wise, work well. Color-wise, also work, work well. Uh, kind of, I would say on the bad side for this part, I kind of wish there was a little bit more light blue, just a little bit. I wish it was some light blue in the back of the fins, uh, maybe some more light blue on the boosters. So I would say that much. Um, some bad, um, some pieces did fall off, and some pieces did was uh, tumbling to actually uh, keep together. As I mentioned earlier, on the uh, boosters, there were like two pieces. One was behind the neck, the other one was the back part uh, for the boosters. And it was a connecting piece all together. And so that way it has like a different motion to connect all of them and they can move in a certain way. And I get that, but it just did not stick to it. it didn't, the pieces did not really stay together. So that's why I mentioned earlier I was going to, I had to add super glue for that so it can stay in place. Uh, there were actually a few loose joints on this one. Uh, not, to, not too severe or anything like that, but the guns underneath the lagger, uh, zero. Which is funny enough, because it's that same gun for my basic uh, Lego Zero. Uh, that one, the, the gun wasn't really loose, but for this one, it was. So I find that kind of odd. But uh, all in all, it wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't mind this kit. I didn't mind the build too much. Uh, it was uh, pretty standard, pretty simple. So I would say this. I would say this all around was a very good kit to build. Uh, naturally, of course, I would build a Liger, so a lot of pieces, a lot of uh, uh, direction, everything else was exactly the same, of course. The only difference is the armor, obviously. But other than that, it was, a, it was a pretty fun build, so I did enjoy that. 
Now, this kit uh, worth getting? Well, it depends. I mean, I did mention before the Lag Zero is worth getting. But this one is just with your opinion. Do you want to get all the CAA, CAS armor pieces? Well, that's up for you to decide. Maybe you're just a one fan of one armor over the other one. That's fine, too. But uh, I let that I let you decide on all that. Thank you all for watching this review. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. I was uh, considering of just uh, trying to separate the uh, the body and having and do like a separate video for all the armor uh, pieces individually, but uh, I I was considering that and I kind of didn't I didn't think it was needed to. Then also, when I was trying to, uh, when I was putting the armor on the Lagazoo and trying to take it off, it was really stuck on it. So, uh, I couldn't really, uh, I couldn't like uh, take it off, take put it back on. Uh, some pieces were a little bit loose, so I decided, you know what, let me just do this. Then also, uh, this was uh, a long time coming, so I do apologize for the wait. But uh, luckily enough, uh, this review is settled. So with that being said, uh, please sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that, notif hit that notification bell uh, for more videos to come. Uh, and for, for all of those who've seen a like a video, like a zero review video, you know what's going to come next. So stay tuned for that, uh, and I'll be sure to not make sure. I'll be sure not to take as much time as I did with the Jaeger, but. Uh, can't make any promises. But with that being said, uh, again, thank you all for watching. The two, these two videos here for you to enjoy. Uh, one uh, pick uh, by YouTube and one pick by, my, by myself. So until next time, keep on building.